Andy Buckley is the president and CEO of STARS, Specialty Transportation and Regulatory Services. Wendy's operation has lots of stories that focus on the inspection of equipment, uh, both before and after the fact. Wendy, some stories that we could relate to that have an impact on our industry and the people in it. So we have a client who built about 400 rail cars, four train sets for dedicated service to a particular oil supplier. And my client, the refinery, um, took into consideration when they built those cars what their equipment was at the unloading facility, but failed to take into account the equipment being used at the supplier's location or the, where it would be loaded. So when these four train sets arrived at the loading location, it was discovered that they couldn't be loaded at all. Can you imagine how the management at the, at the client, the refinery, felt? They spent all this money to build these rail cars that are now virtually useless. So they were faced with a slew of very poor options. Um, would they have to reallocate equipment from de other dedicated services to this? Would they have to send the cars back to be rebuilt and, 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 and valves replaced? There was lots and lots of options, none of them good. We ultimately were able to help them get a pretty good deal on some retrofit equipment, quick connects, that we could do, uh, we could have applied with a mobile unit. My crew helped them. The mobile unit did all the testing and stuff of the valves to ensure that they were leak free. And we were able to get the problem solved. Now, it wasn't cheap, but it was the most expedient. It kept the refinery running because the refinery can't run without oil. And, and, it, and it saved those people's jobs.